Antikythera is an island in the Mediterranean, just north of Crete and just south of Greece. It was here, in 1901, that a remarkable discovery was made. Divers who had been searching for sponges came across the wreck of an ancient ship. On board, they discovered many statues made of bronze and marble, but also a curious mechanism. The wreckage was believed to date from the early 1st millennium AD, a time when Kythera was a bustling ancient port, and these artefacts were thought to have been on their way to Rome to take part in a triumph for Julius Caesar. The mechanism was stored, but it was deemed to be a contamination from a much later period. It was largely forgotten about. Fifty years later, in 1951, English physicist Derek de Sola Price took an interest in the mechanism. It was clear to him that this was a remarkable device. It had three main dials, one on the front and two on the back. The front dial was marked with 365 consecutive marks, mirroring the days of the year. Along with this were signs of the Greek zodiac, and the device apparently contained between 30 and 72 individual gears. Mechanisms like this would not be seen again until the 19th century, with precision-made clockwork engineering. This mechanism could apparently calculate the location of the sun, the moon, the planets, and the constellations for any given date with extreme accuracy. This device operated from a geocentric view of the universe, from the perspective of someone on the planet, and therefore could apparently be used for navigation by ancient sailors. De Sola Price believed that this object had been on display on the island of Rhodes, along with other objects of interest, such as automatons and clockwork machinery, attested to in ancient texts. It was also believed that this was the work of ancient astronomer Hipparchus, as he had developed a theory for the motion of the moon. However, the story of the mechanism does not end there, and more recently it has been examined using high-resolution X-ray tomography. These images have revealed that the mechanism is more complex and elegant than previously imagined. They also brought forth one more revelation, and that is that the Greek used on the machine is likely to have come from the colony of Corinth and in turn would apparently have been used in Syracuse, specifically the names of the month. This has led some to suggest that Archimedes was the designer of this device, not Hipparchus. And the apparent ability of this device to predict eclipses has led others to suggest that this was not used for navigation, but rather for astronomical observations. The existence of such a remarkable mechanism so early in history has stimulated the imaginations of people around the world, and much fiction has been written. One of the more pleasing alternative explanations for Antikythera is that it was a musical box, not unlike those in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. However, there is no real evidence to support this. Perhaps it is not surprising that this mechanism has inspired so many. After all, according to conventional wisdom, it shouldn't exist. We are the ones who exist in a world of gadgets and mechanisms, not the ancient Greeks. But this attests to the importance of archaeology and its ability to reveal perhaps the most surprising thing about ourselves, our unending ability to underestimate our former selves. Indeed, recently, a Lego version of the Antikythera mechanism was created, and it successfully predicted an eclipse which will happen in 2024. The Antikythera mechanism has been hailed as an early mechanical computer, an early version of a modern idea. But perhaps this statement is rich with the very irony that this find has highlighted. Perhaps this is not an early computer at all. Rather, our computers are late, Antikythera mechanisms.